All right, everyone, it's time to break out your crayons and your paper because we're gonna do some drawing. Now remember when I introduced this book to you, I told you that this book was super special because it won the Caldecott Honor, which is um, the silver medal awarded to one of the best illustrated books for children in the year that it was published. And one of the things that I think make the illustrations in this book so special is the way that the illustrator used color and then also used a lack of color in specific parts of the book. Like this illustration from the beginning in her very crazy house is full of bright colors. Take a look at everything that's happening in that picture. Look at all those greens and reds, the browns. Look at all those faces and all those silly, silly children. This illustration really tells you a lot about what is happening inside of her house. Later on in the story, when the old lady is all by herself in the void, the illustrations are no longer colorful. They are black and white because that's what things are like in a void. A void means nothing. No color, no kids, no goats, no aliens, nothing. Just black and white. So today for your creative challenge, I challenge you to do some illustrations like the ones that are in this book. So I'm gonna show you what I did. I divided my paper into four sections and I recreated some of the special objects from this story, like the broom that the old lady used to sweep, her colorful yarn that she used to knit her sweaters, here's her apron and skirt and a ball of yarn, and then this is her samovar. Now, samovar might have been a new word for a lot of you because it was a new word for me. And really, it's just a fancy way of saying a place where she can get her tea. So I created this nice, big, colorful samovar here in my last square. So this is one thing that you can do. You can make a colorful illustration based on something you saw in our story. Or if you were interested in trying to recreate the void, you can get yourself some black paper. Maybe you have some construction paper in your house and you can use a white crayon, which we don't often use because white doesn't always show up in our illustrations. And you can pick out some things from the story you might wanna draw in the void. So I did the same four illustrations, this time only using my white crayon to show what it looks like in the void. So I hope that you have your crayons or colored pencils or markers, or even if not, maybe you could just find a pencil or a pen and you can try your hand at sketching some of the things that were in this story. Once you're done, you can ask mom or dad to take a picture of it and you can upload it into our Google Classroom. I'll have an assignment for you where you can put all your pictures in so I can see your hard artwork. Okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do. If you don't feel like sharing, that's okay too. I just want you to have some time to get your pencil to paper, to draw, and for everybody to leave you alone. Okay, friends, I hope you're doing well. I really do miss you so much, and I can't wait to read another story with you soon. Bye.